Hi guys, this is Gigi Halloween, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, setup, and a demo of two scoops. This is the 2022 version, I don't know if there's a difference, but let's start and let's get into the video. Okay, let's start the unboxing. I've not opened this yet. Here we go. Okay, so before the cardboard slot, there's the instructions. Then you have the cardboard piece. Let me see if I can show you what it looks like when it when you open it. That's what it looks like. Okay, let's start. Here we have the clothing. Can I get this out? Here is the shoulder frame. Here is one of the arms. They are really short. God, this is so cool. Her face is so realistic. This is probably the most realistic of the faces I've seen, at least. In my opinion. If I can get her face out. Seems to be a little wobbly on the head. I'll get that out later, but let me go show you the face. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool looking. Okay. I can see the heads. I can't see the faces yet, though. They look really cool. Here are two of the foam pieces. Here's one other one and the last foam piece. Then we got the mech. Here's the main mechanism with the back piece and the torso frame. Looks super awesome. It's going to be super awesome, guys. Okay. They got this part. Here's the hip loop. Here we go to the good stuff. Here's the hand. It is huge. Huge hand. The other hand, other arm, try to save the heads for last. I can. Here's the battery adapter. The adapter. Oh my god, the shoes are insane. These are crazy, guys. They're so big and so realistic. The other shoe out. There's that shoe. Okay, the moment of truth. Jim and Tim. Their face is really cool. This one certainly right here. The forehead is a little deformed, but it still looks pretty cool. And in here, I'll show you the other face. Another thing in there, which is the base, which is a pretty small base, a few leg poles, and this face is a lot better. Here's the other face. Yeah, so that's the unboxing. I'm going to lay out all the pieces, and we can start on with the setup. Okay, so let's start with the setup. First, it shows that we attach the longer poles to the base, and it does not matter. Now, we'll slide over the shoes. They're, that's the same to me. I don't think it really matters which one you put on each. Now you take the longer foam pieces and you slide these over here. And it kind of breaks as you slide it over. these ones, which are the same as well. These set to the, these 
leg poles. And then we would get the smaller foam pieces to put over here. Maybe a little twisted when I put it on. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna readjust this clothing and uh, have the height up a little bit because the next step is to put on the, the torso frame. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with the setup. So, the torso frame gave me a lot of trouble getting on. So, I did that off camera, but now the next step is to put these. waist loop into two scoops. Okay, so now we're gonna pull up this clothing to put up in the um, arms. put in the arms. So, let me fish this up through the arm. There we go. So that's that arm. Now let's put the next arm up. Now, I'm just going to say this. So my two scoops, the girl on the ice cream phone, her head has like a slot that it, uh, that the head will fit through, but mine particularly is the hot glue, whoever did the hot glue or However, it was made in the factory. It was not hot glued. Didn't even seem like it was hot glued. So that is uh, a little unfortunate. So hopefully we'll stay up during the demo. I'll probably hot glue it myself, but yeah. Okay, so now we're putting on the um, shoulder frame which makes it even taller. And boom, there that is, even taller. Okay, so now we're putting on the back piece, which goes back here, it's just a normal fork that you put in. There we go. So that makes it more, uh, like the right size. So now we put in the heads. Let's see. Um, yeah, so the one with the non 
one sharp teeth that goes on the left when you're looking at it forward. that and let's put the one with the sharp teeth will go on the right the other one has more dull teeth cord through and there we go so there's the heads of two scoops now our next step is to get the clothing around. So I'm gonna get it through the back around it so that it's all sized in. And now we pull this up. Arm. This guy is insanely tall. looks pretty good from back here. There is a little thing that you use over here that goes over them there. Okay, so that's pretty good for right now. I'll do all that other stuff in a minute. But now we put on the neck ruffles, which have like a plastic feel. Now let's see if these come off. There they are. First neck ruffle, and now we can do the second one. And this one has the IR sensor, as I can see here. There's the hole there. Let's get this one on. steps building it not doing all the wire and all that first one is to attach the hands and last one is doing the ice cream cone I know this one I've seen on videos of it being hard, but we can try to do it on camera. Here's what I'm talking about with the head. As you can see, it kind of like wiggles around a lot. I don't know if that's all of them come, I doubt it, but let's put the ice cream cone through his hands. And we are almost done. gonna be hard so I'm definitely gonna do this off camera but I will come right back when I have him all wired up all velcroed up have him looking all nice and have this cone in and we'll go right to the demo okay guys I'm back with the demo I just want to point out here that the cone to put in will take you a long time I had to take out the hands the prongs were wrong I was only able to put one prong in on there it's fine I think it will work fine though um uh, so I have it on automatic mode, so all I have to do is plug it in, and uh, so I think we should head to the demo. Give me that! What cold! It's mine! Get your cold! What's wrong, little girl? Don't you like ice cream? 
Everybody likes ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> This one's mine! You can have the next one! Forget it! I'm not falling for that again! Fine! We'll share! <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, so, I think that was pretty cool. A lot of movements for only $240, this is a 2022 version. Um, the, the arms were moving up a lot, I have seen videos on how like you need to fix the clothing around a little bit to get that to get have the good movement um the there's a few things that i don't like about it the welding is very very cheap to put on the torso frame it was all rusty and i had to get it all in there it was really hard uh this head specifically is looking up at the ceiling more than at the person which i don't really like but you know we can deal with it uh the head is a little wibbly i can hug with that most of these things are problems that you can fix but Overall, I think Two Scoops is a great purchase. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.